Hey, what's up, guys? This is the interesting JavaScript library of the week series. I'm Nitij, and in this ninth episode, I will show you a widget which can be used to have the header of a web page behave in accordance with the user scrolling the page contents. That library is called as Headroom.js. Headroom is a tiny little script which has a very specific purpose and that is to hide the page header when the user scrolls down the web page. It will then again show the header when the user will scroll upwards when they mean to reach the top of the page to access something within the header like some navigation link or maybe to again go to the home page etc. In most of the bootstrap themes, this kind of functionality is probably already available but if you don't have this feature in your project, then you can quickly enable it using headroom.js. I will now show you how we can use this widget and you will see how easy it is to install and then make our page headers responsive to user scrolls. Headroom.js can either be installed using the command npm and then install and then headroom.js or we can use a script tag to link to it and then fetch its reference within the HTML document using this URL. We can also download this script and then place it in the folder structure of the project to fall back to a backup script when the CDN URL is not available. Let's now take a look at a very simple code example to see how we can set this widget up for the headers in our web page. This is Visual Studio code and in this index.html file, there is a header with a bunch of buttons which are over here and there is then a div which has a height of nearly 2000 px to allow us to scroll down the page to see the header hiding and auto showing when we will use headroom.js for this header. There is also a style.css file linked within this web page and this file contains the styling information for the header and for the buttons which are within the header. So the important thing to note over here is that this header has a fixed position so when we will run this web page and when we will scroll the page downwards then you can see that the header is fixed and it is remaining at its position. So what we are going to do is to use headroom.js to be able to hide this header when we are scrolling downwards and to auto show it again when we are scrolling upwards. Now in order to use headroom for this header we need to do three things. First we will need to fetch the reference of headroom.js script file using its CDN link. That can be done by adding a script element with its src attribute pointing towards the CDN URL which is this one. Next we will need to add three classes for the headroom widget to use for the header. The first one is the main headroom class and there are two other classes with the name pinned and unpinned. The last thing that we need to do is to add a script element and then initialize headroom by passing the reference of this header element within the constructor of headroom.js and that can be done by first adding a script element. First let's just fetch the reference of the header and that can be done by calling the statement document dot query selector and then we will need to provide the tag name of header as an argument over here. Next we need to initialize a new headroom object by calling its constructor so this can be done by calling new and then headroom and then we will simply provide this header element as an argument and then finally we will have to call headroom dot init to initialize headroom widget now let's save the code and let's see how it is working so right now i am at the top of the page and the header is showing now let's scroll down and you can see that the header has been auto hidden now when I'm scrolling up, then the header is showing again. So this is the default setting of headroom.js widget which we can use with the header. Now we can configure this default setting by providing some parameters like the amount of scrolling required to auto hide the header when we are scrolling downwards or to auto show the header when we are scrolling upwards. And then there is another configuration settings which is called as offset which allows us to auto hide the header only when we have scrolled a specific amount. Now we can use these configuration settings by providing an options object as an argument after the header elements reference. 
and first we are going to add the property for the tolerance which is required for the header to auto hide on auto show if we will directly provide an integer value as a value for this property tolerance then this will be applied to both the downward scrolling and the upward scrolling so you can see now when i am scrolling downwards and upwards then it is taking a considerable more amount of scrolling to auto hide and auto show the header so right now this is for both upwards scroll and downwards scroll and we can set it individually for downwards and upwards scrolling for downwards scrolling tolerance we can use the property down and let's set this to 5 because we want to quickly hide the header when the user is scrolling downwards and let's set the tolerance for upward scroll as you know what let's set it as 25 because we want the user to scroll a considerable amount before the header is auto shown now let's scroll downwards the header is quickly hidden and now let's scroll upwards and when scrolling upwards it is taking more of scrolling effort to again show the header now let's also see how offset works so to make the offset work all we need to do is to add the offset property and then provide a value for the offset which is in the unit px now let's set 20 for now and see what will happen so when i'm scrolling downwards then the header will only hide after nearly 20 px of height has been scrolled upwards but it is not really noticeable right now so i'm going to increase it to a considerably large value like 500 all right now you can see that when the page has been scrolled downwards by nearly 500 px then the header is auto hiding otherwise it is remaining visible on the page so this is how offset works we can set it to a value when we think it would be fine for the header to auto hide when the main header content has already been traversed using the downwards scrolling there are some more properties which can be set within this options object for example we can override the class names which are being used and we can also subscribe or bind to certain events and there is no extra stuff and features which i think is a pretty good thing because this widget is to the point and straightforward and its production script size is also very less so this is why i think that this script should be pretty good for having dynamic headers in our web pages which will auto show and auto hide and that would be everything for this video guys thank you so much for watching it and be sure to subscribe to the codefest channel for more such videos i am nitej and i will hopefully see you soon till then have fun and take care of yourselves